It's in the game. It is a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Neil Magny. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Magny is two years his senior. He is eight inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Neil Magny. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, actually, the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of the weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing it. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Neil Mack. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. A little single collar tie there. Good punch. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. A minute and a half to go in our opening round. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Magny. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He blocks the punch. He lands a big knee to the body. Big power shot there. So nice back and forth action here. Big punch lands over the top. Oh, oh, his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was overly versus Ugandan. And you know they still haven't found Alice Cole's big head. Uppercuts and punches, we don't say that all the time, but that has certainly been a big part of the narrative in this one as he lands yet another combination here in the field. So a strong five minutes, minutes down. Yeah. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. I mean, when you can hit those shots like that, to stay standing so and talk to your toughness. Big body to land. That's a big strike. Oh, 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 stuffs the takedown without issue. Big punch from the clinch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Nicely done. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now. Magny's got the full mount. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Ten seconds to go. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, most fighters can't keep up this time. Punch lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown on them. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Another shot here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nice punch lands over the top. Way to hide that leg. And both guys really throwing the land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. His left hand punches the clinch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he's, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's done. He's done. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 54 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to...